Hi, Tammy LaFleur here, and today I'm going to take you through the variations and progressions of a push-up. So I'm going to take you through, um, if you are maybe on the road to recovery or just coming off the couch and beginning to work out, all the way to like a more advanced move. So then when you're doing your at-home workouts, you have some uh, variations to work with, all right? So the first one I'm going to start with is a push-up. And if you are just starting out, I'm going to, you can either take this to the wall or I'm going to use a bench or if you have an ottoman, a chair, anything like that will do. Even stairs, you can use the incline of your stairs. But how you would start is I would have you come down on your knees. First of all, first and foremost, with all of these, you're going to want to draw your navel in, shoulders down and back, hands come out as wide as you can um, on my box. So if this were a chair, I'd go out to the outside of the chair as well, okay? You want your arms to be at least shoulder width apart, if not a little bit wider, okay? Then you're going to have your um, pointer finger straight ahead, all right? Pressing through the heel right here of your hand. That's where you're going to put most of your weight. You're going to shift your weight forward, okay? A nice straight line from the point of contact to your shoulder, and then you're going to just slowly lower yourself down. You're View is about eight, 12 to 18 inches in front of your fingertips, all right? You're going to just bring yourself lower until you start to, start to feel pressure in your shoulder. I want you to come back up because what you're trying to do is press straight out, almost like you're trying to touch your shoulder blades together on the front side, okay? But um, still keeping them down and contracted back, all right? So here, and then you don't want your elbows coming out, flaring out, but you also don't wanting them to rub your side. So it's about 45 degrees, skull drawn back, nice line from the top of your head, all the way down and up, okay? Keep that skull drawn back, elbows come out and back up. So that's where I would have you start, okay? As you progress, you could take it up to your toes at that incline and come down and up, all right? That's another variation. Even if you do one there, and then you come down to your knees to continue on, that's great, that's progress. As you get a little bit stronger, you'll come down to the floor. So again, I'm gonna show you from the front, or an angle here, your hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width, okay? If I were going straight shoulder width, they'd be right here. But I wanna do it a little bit wider, Give me a stronger base. And here's the thing, there's about 120 variations of a push-up that you can do, but I'm gonna show you a basic, all right? So hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width. Again, pressing through the palms. Fingertips are pointed straight ahead. Again, I'm gonna have you on your knees, but you're still gonna have that nice straight line. Wrists are underneath your shoulders, all right? Navel's drawn in. Elbows, again, are not gonna flare out square or rub your side, but 45 degrees. Okay, from either point. Slowly lower yourself down. Again, if you start to feel pressure in your shoulder, come back up. All right, one more time. Come down nice and slow and back up. Now a good deep push up, I recommend about that you're about 45 degrees, that elbow bends 45 degrees. I know the trend now is to hit the deck and come back up, which is fine if you have no shoulder issues and you're advanced enough to do that. Otherwise, a good 90 degree bend in that elbow is deep enough, okay, to get the benefits of a push-up. As you progress from your knees, you can take it up to one knee. All right, so you straighten that back leg, one of them, come down and up. And friends, all that's doing is adding a little bit of weight, but not your full body weight yet. And then as you progress, you can take it all the way up to both toes, if you come feet together, down and up, navel's engaged, a nice straight line from the top of your head to your bottom. Come down, again, your gaze is about 12 to 18 inches in front of your fingers and back up. Now what you don't wanna do is this head bob. Stop. <laughs> if you're doing that, you've progressed a little too far, bring it back before you go forward. One more variation that you can do Hands again, a little wider than shoulder width apart. Take your feet out wide. This disperses the weight a little bit more so it makes it a little bit easier. Come down and up. So there you go, friends. Start on the bench, on your knees, bench, toes, 
floor on your knees, then take it to the floor with one foot, and then on your toes. Hope that helps. Good luck.